Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Archana here, and, and today in this video, I'm going to alter this resin uh, coaster. So a few days back, I have tried this resin uh, resin pouring in uh, this mold, but somehow I didn't like the way it turned out to be, and I don't want to waste this so i am just thinking to make something you know something mixed media on this so i have some bits and pieces so these are the clay embellishment which again i was trying and they are broken and some are not complete so let's see where this uh, how this video turns out to be i mean how these uh, uh, coasters uh, turns out to be so this will uh, not be coasters anymore so this will be like you know some wall hanging or you can also use as a fridge magnet as well though it's big in size but i don't mind to use it as a fridge magnet okay so i have some uh, as i said i have some broken embellishment so let's make a arrangement first so sort of composition so i'm thinking should i go with this side or this side let's go with like this so i will first make arrangement and then i will uh, paste this Okay, so let's uh, glue this together because uh, again I will forget the composition and again I have to, you know, uh, rebuild it. So, yeah. So heavy gel medium works base to, you know, create uh, other area embellishments. So I always use this heavy heavy gel medium. So I'm going to use a generous amount of heavy gel medium because I don't want my embellishment to get off. So I have glued everything together and I am happy with the composition as well. So now I am just going to fill the empty spaces like here and there with these um, granules. So these are the tiny granules that uh, we get in the you know market. So this is how they look. So I'm just going to add some uh, glue in it and then I'm going to spread uh, on this composition. 
so for glue i am using mod podge but you can use any uh, pva glue these are completely dried and now we will uh, color it using uh, that's i haven't decided yet actually so first i'm thinking to prime it using black gesso so you can also go with uh, white gesso as well So priming is very necessary in mixed media because uh, we use a lot of different you know uh, embellishments like here you can see I have used clay embellishment as well as metal embellishment some resin embellishment so just to put everything together and you know uh, uh, just to make them ready to accept other medium on it so we need to add i mean we need to first prime it so you can also uh, prime it using chalk paints as well so i'm just wiggling my brush so that the brush bristle will go to the all the intricate parts some places i am just dabbing my brush because uh, texture is very intricate over there so i want it to get cover so that's the reason Okay, so here my layer of uh, black gesso is completely dry and now it's time to add some highlight so for that purpose I am using a chalk pen and since I, I had used um, broken embellishment and you know uh, stuff like that so I thought uh, to uh, let's make it kind of rustic uh, look so for that I am choosing chalk pen uh, this is the brown shade of chalk pen and then I have this red cherry. Okay, 
so this is the shade and for patina uh, i will use these but uh, as i don't need uh, it right now so let's see if i can try to achieve the rustic look with this color now i will add little bit of gold for oops, little bit of gold to enhance the you know uh, beauty of it so very little amount of uh, gold so just take uh, another dry brush and take very little amount of paint on it and using light pressure I'll just show you here and using light pressure just apply this just here and there so look at this just adding very uh, you know hinge of this gold can transform your project uh, magically So these uh, both the wings are ready and uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this process. I will be back with another project soon. Till then bye bye take care and happy creating. Bye.